previously on Be More to Do More podcast. Wait, our word carry Mm -hmm. with our Mm -hmm. wives or even with our women, like Mm -hmm. my mom, Mm my sisters, like our word carry weight. And if I'm triggered and I respond a certain way, it can cause a that ocean, that raging ocean. Chaos. I bet you look hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Calm the ocean or something. Man. But yeah, um, you got anything else, Little Donna? Did we go over every, every, over everything? No, it was more talking about thinking if the 50 50 relationship was the destruction of masculinity. Because we only talk 30 minutes to 45. Hey, we only, we had an hour. What makes, the, <laughs> what makes the man a provider? Um, oh, I didn't get into that scripture, though. Yeah, Never you mind. need to we'll, find we'll, that. We'll talk about that later. And me having that conversation with, like I was telling you before this, with um, Chaz. He's from New York. All right. So he was looking at it more from like, hey, I think um, it's different from Northerners than it is in the South because mm. he was saying like he had to learn a lot down here. Like, oh, get out the car. <laughs> And open the door. Open the door. Mm-hmm. The gas situation mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. They don't, so, do, they don't do that out there? No. Oh, okay. He said he got, he remembered the time where he got cussed out by his mom. Like, I can do my, put my own, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. But then I was saying like, but that's being nice, like chivalry. That's mm-hmm. not providing. You're, it's not like you're providing the gas. I came up to you know, Chazo gas right. station or right. something, and you're providing me with gas. I think um, a lot of men, like I, like we said earlier, identify mm-hmm. taking care of others, being their key component of being a provider. That's their thing. And it's right. identify who they are. Mm-hmm. Where So where I was talking to him and saying like, no, that doesn't define you as a man. Mm-hmm. Because again, if we're in a household and and we both work in, our works are not guaranteed to right. be with us for the rest of our lives. That's true. So what if you lose your job as a woman? Mm-hmm. When do I chime in? Mm-hmm. And most yeah. of the time, a lot of women chime in by saying they'll give you that grace, but it's like they have a grace period. Like, yes. oh, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you 30 days. I'm mm-hmm. 30 days. Get your ass off that couch. Mm-hmm. When I think that is so unfair, yeah. because if we lose our job, you still want that grace from your man to be understanding and yeah. still take care of the household. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of conflict and arguments come in. And that's one thing I hate about these other podcasts. Mm-hmm. By the way, bro, we got the best podcast in the world. The best podcast in the world. Uh, but yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I hate about these other podcasts. They talk about marriage and being in it. You be like, what? That's not how it goes at all. Like, because they talk about, okay, should a man provide financially and all this? In a marriage, man, there's ups and downs. There's been mm-hmm. times that I lost my job in our marriage because I'm an entrepreneur, man. I'm always doing something crazy. And there's times that she lost her job and I held down the fort. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all teamwork, mm-hmm. and, you know, so it's not really um, uh, what, it's not a linear answer mm-hmm. for marriage. Mm-hmm. We try to make it that, but it's just not that. So, yeah, man, you- It's you're right. scary. Yeah. For yeah. a single person, single yeah. woman now, mm-hmm. like- it was a time where I'm like, oh, I want to get married. I want to have that household where I'm taking care of my husband and right. being able to say to my girlfriend, let me check with my husband <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. But see that? They, 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 they still, still want to be on. You see that? Yeah. You see that? I see. <laughs> what? <laughs> you trying to argue earlier. Wait, no, I wait. Trying to argue hold, earlier. On, hold on. What you I say? was Come arguing on. with the word. Oh, what you say? Word. Hold on. Oh, what you okay. say? Because we had this conversation the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, because we was talking about, what we was talking about? It was a lot like submission. Yeah, and you was like, I don't want to figure it out. And I'm like, see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, see. Yeah, I'm want tired to, yeah, of I, figuring it out. I'm like, mm-hmm. want, because women want to be led. Yep. You know what I mean? But then we're forced to be independent. Yeah. Okay. About time you get to that woman uh, like. Forced is a, no, it's a, it's a heavy word. We're forced. Not forced. We're because, forced. Because, let me tell you, just uh, for uh, experience. You're talking, you're talking to a just provider an, now. Just an example. <laughs> just an example. The reason. We can find another word, but for right now, we're going to use force. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know we have our own dictionary, okay. but go ahead. <laughs> so 
when it comes to a single woman mm-hmm. and my AC was broke, right? Okay. So my first instinct is like, let me Google to what I think it might be on my own because right. that's just who I am. Okay. Right. But then when you start to call men um, of this day and age, <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know. Let that's, me. That's me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It like all. it's always I don't so, know. Yeah. But I I found when I sit around men. Mm-hmm. And they home, but be like, shit, I can't find out what's going on with my engine with da da da. Oh, bro, let me let me holler at my boy, blah, 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 blah. Oh. And we're forced to figure things out because I figured that most men are like that because especially if they grew up in a single mom household, that they saw their mom take care of everything. Mm-hmm. So they expect other women to be the same way. Right. When women like me, I'm tired of that. Like, I'm tired of figuring it out. Like, mm-hmm. why? Can I just call somebody and they're like, oh, I got you or whatever, whatever, and have the resources right. to help me figure it out. Like, but then in the end, I'm still figuring it out. Yeah. yeah. But, I, I can tell you what I got you. I'm going to tell you I don't know, but I'm going to tell you who do know. Right. Google. Yeah. No, that's where I was at. <laughs> I always said, call on my own Google. Like, yeah, yeah. I always call on Google. Yeah. And it's like, but if I was to say, man, my PS5, is, it stopped loading. Uh I tell you what to do. Do this. Do this. <laughs> and take this out. Y'all know they'll know that. But the day and age, like men don't know how to change tires. They don't know how to do anything. I mean So we're forced. I I to know be how independent. to independent. Well no. Yes. No. Yes. Let me tell you is this is what I, this is what I'll say. Why you say no? You're not forced. It's just a different time. Like humility makes the adjustment. So, so what word should I use instead of force? Well, it's it's yeah. you're just having to figure out a different solution. We're pushed because in the past you're, you're you're right on your point of in the past men would just handle that. You can call your mm-hmm. your uncle Ray, yeah, and Uncle Ray gonna have you know mm-hmm. whatever tool, to, part. you know, what whole tool box. yeah, like he, that's because that's what they that's that was the age of America we were in, mm-hmm. we're yeah. the industrial age, we're the technology age now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they gonna know what to do with a PS5 because it's technology, right? <laughs> no, that that makes sense. But yeah. you did call, you yeah. text me, and then some, the person I reached out to was Mr. P. Uh, oh yeah, because he's older. You know, if if not, I would have Mr. T. Because they okay. They, so now that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So more, it's I, more I of a generation. I just thing. bought. A, yeah. I just bought a screwdriver. We pay for everything now. Like that's why, bro. That's why, bro. That's that's why we even having this conversation right now. Mm-hmm. Is because. At the end of the day, right, people look, because we talk, like, the whole premise of it is, what is 50-50? Most people, most people look at 50-50 as financial. Mm-hmm. The reason why we look at 50-50 as financial is because we pay for everything now. Mm-hmm. We, we don't grow our own food. Mm-mm. We don't fix our own appliances. Yeah. We, like, like, we literally pay for everything. That's so cool. everything cool. revolves around money because we depend on it so heavily. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That's the reason why. That makes sense. Mm. Makes sense. So it's not a myth. Bars. Bars. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I like I like that though. I like yeah. that. Okay, that's perspective. But in but in the end, like like I was trying to say earlier, like at one point it was a thing for me. Like I I want to get married. Now mm, it's like right. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Like I don't know. Why? Because you can't fix the AC? No. Oh. <laughs> no, I know you got to be very certified for that. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Not Call my dad for that. Like the person I'm with, I'm dating now. Who I'm with now. Would I, if he asks, of course. Right. Very, yeah. very domestic. Very. He can fix. He was though. military, so oh, okay. ex-military. So, he's, if it's he, he's older, huh? Uh. Uh-uh. He's older than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much older. No, 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 no. I'm saying no. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a millennial. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm. Yeah. So you got the Gen Z. The millennials, and then who's before them? Mm-hmm. The yeah. boomers? Nah, that uh, or after the- Gen X. That's Gen uh-huh. X. Yeah. So millennials, we so yeah, the Gen X, Gen Y, and Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that com- I remember that because of commercial. <laughs> yeah. So we tend to be more. Uh, we're in the middle, <laughs> so we're tech, but not heavily tech. 
mm-hmm. not to fix things, but not so much. Mm-hmm. That type of thing. But like you say, he's more domestic. He can fix stuff and he can fix stuff. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. Kurt. Kurt can do that. He can. Fix, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I don't look for a husband and see if he can fix stuff. Like, and I told my, I told my wife straight up, y'all, I'm not. My wife hate me because I can't fix stuff. I'm not. Well, that's, a that's a strong word. That's a strong word. That's a very that's a, that's a strong word. But, right you, but, you, but you're a thinker, though. Yeah, I'm a think the cause. So I, I think that's another. See, we didn't get into the ways that a man could provide, man. Mm-hmm. We we already <laughs> at an hour. At we already at, at an hour and 18. Y'all want to keep going? What y'all want to do? Y'all want to talk about this? Yeah, this? I would like to know what ways y'all are, are providers. I think, I'm pretty sure other women would, too, that listen. Okay, bro. What ways are Is this providers? coming from a, a married man standpoint? You want a and single man the, standpoint? The, like hey, I was in these streets now, huh? Cause I can give you both. What you mean? I'll last do that. last you time mean? I was in the street was 2010. <laughs> that's what I'm saying? I, that was 14 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the streets are like these days. I I don't know. Them. No, I'll uh, just put it around. <laughs> uh, provider. Yeah. Um. You, you want a single man's answer? Mm, I want I want child from you. What makes a man a provider? Mm-hmm. I, you want a political answer? Mm, I want your answer. Okay. I feel like my answer is like the political. Give it answer. to give give game us women. Like, what is it? What makes being a? I think so. This is where I'm like naturally negative because all my mind automatically goes to like this is what is not a provider is mm-hmm. right. Um, you know, I th- uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out a, a simple way to say this, mm-hmm. but say it. Say it. It's gonna sound harsh too. It is what it is. Say it. Men are not your guide. Mm. And what I mean by that is, a lot of times, man, like women put so much pressure on men to like make them feel good. Oh, I agree. oh yeah, I agree. I was yeah. like, y'all yeah. see Mustard Ball? Wait. <laughs> nah, I didn't see that. You see what's, okay, no, you never, you never see it. Um, <laughs> I heard about how they did, old girl. Yeah, you know, like, like, like that's what. Oh, that's all. That's all I got. But, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. To that, to that degree, though. But mm-hmm. let me just play. I ain't gonna say devil's advocate. Yeah, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. But right. that's how we appear to them when we're trying to get some. Oof. Mm. So we gotta we gotta keep that narrative. How do you up. show up? Huh? How do you show up? Like we they we we their saviors. You know, I'm not saying they're like you're not a woman. Like we're your savior. Cap to save them. Yeah. Like we gonna make sure you good. You know what I mean? That's how. I, that's I'm different. I'm different. <laughs> I ain't like these other guys, baby girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I'm I'm him. You feel me? That's how we try to show up. But what happened is after we do what we can <laughs> complete the mission those things just kind of fall away and then that expectation is still there so okay so let's answer the question though what makes what makes a man a provider so, um yeah what what is a provider i think a provider I, I just it's why like it's uh, i think a provider is so i'll tell you what it what it's not right mm-hmm. it's not like we're not we're not your happiness and what i mean by that is like because happiness is or maybe we're not your joy because maybe joy comes from more inside, yeah. right, than yeah. than external. Um, but maybe we can be your happiness in terms of what do you need. I think men can be can provide a portion of what you need from a security perspective, from a financial perspective, from a um, biological perspective. Like, but at the same time, it's like it's not really something that we're gonna be able to like make you you know so i guess i'm conf- like what is the problem which part like what is like so i okay so a provider for me finance of course right I got to say it because this is in my dna okay it may not be for every man right he might have other areas that he can provide I think that's value. again. It that's instilled in the men, like right. Yeah. So, but also like while I, if I'm not providing, then I'm mm. providing strategy. Mm. You see what I'm saying? If I'm not providing, you know, strategy. It's other areas that I'm gifted in. You know that I can provide for my family. 
mm-hmm. you know, my my time, my time with my kid, you know, and not just qual. I'm just saying quality time. I'm there, you know, time with my wife. Um, I, I guess I guess it varies mm-hmm. in different seasons, if that makes sense, you know. Um, but most importantly, I'm the one that's responsible to to point them back to Jesus. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he's, and really, he's our ultimate provider, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He's our ultimate provider. And I need to be connected with him at all times because I need, if I don't have it, if it's not coming from me, mm-hmm. he knows where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. And he's showing me and he's helping me with strategy, with wisdom and all that. He's showing me these things. Vision, <laughs> vision. But what about the people that, don't believe. I I can't talk to them, man. <laughs> Their money. I mean, because I imagine somebody like heard what you said, like oh, whatever. I hear you that Jesus stuff again. I mean, but you know, yeah. But look at their life, though. You know, they got a they got a little. You know, you you, you know what I'm saying. The proof <laughs> is in the pudding. Like, I think I'm just my whole thing is just that I just get kind of like I frown up when I just hear women like. Oh, if he's not paying this, he's not paying that, he's not paying this, this, that, and the third, like all the bills. Right. And taking care of me. Because they tired. He, he, That's why they t- they tired of providing for themselves. They tired. Mm. That's the reason why they do that. Like, so, I mean, so at what point Some do females, you, I don't but, know, bro. Some of these shits getting flued out. They ain't tired. They or they, oh, sorry. Or they don't want to or they it, don't want to work. It's more so like if you're not doing these things, then I can't talk to you. It depends. If it depends. Hypothetically, if I was single, that that's not the woman I'm looking for. Yeah, for sure. You know, and it, yeah. but it, but it does depend if, if she's twenty or if she's like mid thirties, forties. Because y'all have a different. That's that's a different. Like you said, I'm tired. And I think it's a culture too. You, you see what I'm saying? Like I'm tired. I'm tired. Like I I'm, get it. I'm tired of a lot of things, but right. my. But my whole thing is not to look for a man who is going to pay everything. You know what I mean? Like, because if you're doing all of that, Mm -hmm. you walk away, Mm -hmm. then what? (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) On to the next man that's going to do it. (laughs) Then I got to find it, go out there and hustle for the next man. That was a nice little vacation. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And so that's why it's like, I can't be dependent on a man. I'm not saying it won't help to have that extra income or that extra hand in the household. Right. But I still got to be able to land on my two feet if he decides to walk away because Uh, I guarantee for him to be with me for life. Why do I? If Hmm? y'all in a relationship, why? Anything can happen. What? Like what? I think those women got to, they got to, those women that think that way, you have to provide some extreme value Right. In another way, right? Because like it's okay, it's okay to if that's what if that's what you need in a man. I think that's okay at the end of the day, right? Right. But what are you bringing to the table? Though? Exactly. Like, because obviously it ain't financial, right? right? So which is fine, but like, are you bringing some extreme value? Like, are you are, are my kids gonna be freaking a on roll? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like in athletes, like are you gonna be out there training with them too? Like, right. like what are you? And then, I'm not saying they have to do all that. But I'm just saying like. Okay, cool. I can provide. What are you bringing to this? What are you bringing? Uh, I think Google. (laughs) (laughs) Eddie. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so I think there's other areas of provision. mm -hmm. Yeah. What What are you What are you expecting though from a provider? Um, As a woman, what are you expecting? Me. What are you expecting? Yeah. Stability. What in what way? Uh, just being generous, nice, kind. Like you looking for cap. Character. character? Cap. That's not cap. How you feel? That's cap. So character. Um, you know what? Let me let you finish first. No, go ahead. No, nah, because you know, you I, I ain't let you. Cap? I ain't let you finish. I ain't let you finish. Go ahead. I can finish after you. Because oh, no. generous could be generous could be a lot of things. Like what? So, all right, I'm just. Uh, she asked me, so yeah, I heard she asked me. Uh, <laughs> so he said, generous, kind, respectful. Mm-hmm. So he can be broke. There, he could be broke. 
cap. Okay, stability. Let, so what? So, let, but let me let me get you. What, what is broke? Hold on, hold on. He's gonna have a job. Hold on, hold on. Let me. But let me get. He's not out here not working. Yeah, but he's he, every every week he gets paid. Again, I said it earlier. Fin, finance does not identify. A okay, man. I get it. So, hold, but he gets paid. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta every week. Understand this. I gotta, but no, no, nah, no, hell, because you you gotta let her finish. You got because I want to understand. So, understand what? So stability. <laughs> Is it's stability in his character? Mm-hmm. Okay, so kind, generous. Are you now? Are you saying trustworthy? Is that what you're saying? Trustworthy. Okay, so that's a provider. The, you know, that's yeah. But he said this. Can he be broke? What is broke? I mean, all of his money is gone at the end of the day. Now, when I, when I, his met, paycheck is, <laughs> look, his money is look, when I met my wife, he ain't got no savings. When I met my wife, yeah, I was, check I, check. I was check, check. Mm-hmm. Like, my, my, my expenses and my mm-hmm. income was right here. Mm-hmm. So, but I had my own place, though. So mm-hmm. she can come kick it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Got a, gave her a place to get away to. I was a provider in that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but yeah, so, yeah. But so, Character, how's that provision for you though? How is that? Mm-hmm. What what is it? What is it? What is it? It says a lot alleviating about alleviating in your life. Like when we talk about providing, what is that alleviating? Alleviating. For me, like my first thing is that I don't look at what money you have. Okay. That's just how I was raised. Okay. I'm not a materialistic type of person. That's right. That's real. So because with me, I feel like I'm not going to require something out of you that I can't do for myself. Okay. So when I meet a man, it's all about, for me, um, conversation. Okay. Um, How you treat people in general, not right. just me, but surroundings. Right. Um, It's all about... What are, what is your ambition? What are your dreams? Like oh, what like okay. things like what makes you you? Right, right. That's what I'm into. Okay. Can we hold a conversation about politics? Can we have conversations about this and the third? Where it's not necessarily I don't want to look at your finances because again, I'm not a materialistic person. I'm not right. out to see if you could pay my bills because that's what I'm doing. Right. Because I'm looking at like you could be here all day, but if you decide to leave, I still gotta stand on my own TV. Mm-hmm. So, right? so he so what is he providing for you? Is that he's the, gonna be providing security, okay, stability, so, so. like all like all those other stuff so, outside of finance. Like so let's not like, look at finance. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not looking at finance. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to see what is he alleviate alleviating for you when we talk about provision. You know, like so stability. So more of companionship. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. And and also being able to like support. Like okay, emotionally mm-hmm. makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, you no know, support okay. me in the things that like are you there to like? Hey, oh, that's what you're trying to do. I got, I can help you. Gotcha. Don't look into okay. this. Look okay. into that. Yeah. Right. Not somebody that's like, oh, that's what's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. who do you like, do you I like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. somebody, I can see that. Oh, okay. we can okay. build a foundation. We can build off of this partnership. Okay, I see. Yeah. No, no, that's what I was asking. Like, because you never know who have that same perspective. Mm-hmm. Like, what is provision to them, mm-hmm. or what? That's why I ask what is providing for you. So, providing partnership, mm-hmm. companionship. Mm-hmm trustworthy, mm-hmm. char- good character. Right. Okay, makes sense. See, that's why I wanted you to finish because I feel like it was more to it than what you had first said. Because what you first <laughs> said, I was broke. like... <laughs> yeah. But he broke, though. <laughs> I mean, if... Because broke is a mentality, right? Yeah. Like, but if he have a vision right. or a dream, mm-hmm. you just don't know where that would take you. Right. You know, so that... And I, where that would take me. Right. Because, again... If you're not educating me or pushing me, what type right. of man would you be? And if I'm not doing the same, what type of woman am I? I like it's real. I like it's it. real. So you gave some substance to mm-hmm. what provision is. That's why I asked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Because we got to grow. If I'm not growing, then yeah. I'm not, I can't. Right. Mm-hmm. If I'm still stagnant and I've been with you three, four years and I'm still the same. Right. I can't do it. So or it's draining me. Is he willing to grow? Is he being my, more... Right. 
to right. do more. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why I was, this is what I will say. So to that mm-hmm. is your growth that you need may be different from the growth that you want. Mm-hmm. So and what I'm is what I mean by that, right? So my I grew my my dad grew up. He provided mm-hmm. financially. Mm-hmm. Now you won't be wrong. He's there, like you know, he was a good dad, right? But when I when I look at the dynamic of the relationship, like my mom did all the like she put, like he was working all the time, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So he would go to work at like seven in the morning, eight in the morning. He'll get off from his first job at about eleven, go in about twelve, mm-hmm. and be working till eleven at night, right? Mm-hmm. So we rarely kind of interacted with him like that, right? So in my head. I thought a good father was somebody who just kind of financially provided, right? But, and um, when my wife, we were dating, we actually broke up because I was on my entrepreneur, you know, stuff. And, and she wasn't, she wasn't growing with me in that arena. And I wanted, I wanted somebody that was like, Supported. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, like not even. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Like, just, like I want you to be on the same path I'm on. Right. Like I don't want no. I don't want nobody to just. I don't. Know, I just feel like I ain't want nobody like. And your cold feet. Remember that. <laughs> cold feet. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what she said. Mm. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um. It was on JTNS. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's already it's out, out there. It's, it's out, out there. there. So go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Um. <laughs> she just petty. Anyway. Um. <laughs> Dang, I forgot what I was going with this, but anyway, but she but, wasn't growing what you. Yeah, did. like yeah, I wanted, I wanted basically, I wanted like a boss chick, mm-hmm. you know, at the end of the day, right? Um, but what I realized, we broke up, got back together, whatever, because I realized she was making me better in other areas mm-hmm. that I really didn't appreciate. Mm-hmm. But then once I kind of put it together, I was like, oh, okay, like mm-hmm. it's a, again, it's a partnership, right? So now, like now we got kids, she's really, really good with like making sure that the kids are like smart <laughs> you know that makes sense she's like, really good with that yeah like i might and, send my son to y'all for the sponsor <laughs> but like or like like i like responsible in terms of like hey you're not finna just leave your stuff around the house or you're not finna just do whatever right Almost to the point where, like, hey, they, they, they boys, like, relax a little bit, right? Like, <laughs> you know, won't, you know, whatever, right? But, like, um, I don't know. So I mean, but I, my, I guess my point is, like, sometimes what you need is a little bit different than what you necessarily think that you need. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, good to have that balance of, like, right. somebody that's going to help you grow in other areas mm-hmm. that really could, or, or sorry, be that, even you know, help you grow in other areas or be that, like, that vision in your blind spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, because a lot of people um, tend to fear what they don't understand. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to be like, no, <laughs> right. you mm-hmm. know what you're talking about type of situation. Mm-hmm. And like for me, I grew up with both my parents in the household. My dad was a provider, financial provider. My mom right. didn't have to work unless she wanted to. Right. And she chose to work at times when she got bored at home or whatever the case may be. But I learned from my father, like my father wasn't a person who yelled. He wasn't a person he was very patient. Mm. So it was something wrong or I did something wrong. He sat down with me mm. and told me this is what you did wrong. Mm. This is what we're gonna do to fix it and this right. is how we're gonna move forward. Right. And so that's what I mm. look for fire. in my that's relationship. Good. That's, fire. Like like that's what I look for in my relationship. I like it. I like it. Um like, I like a man it. to sit down with me and say, Hey, this is what you did wrong. Right. Mm. This is what we're gonna ha- this is what we're gonna do to fix it and this is how we're gonna move forward. Are you right. okay with coaching that? Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's and, for her. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. That, yeah. I, and that's what I try to teach to the person I'm with. Like, hey, this is how I want you to respond to me. Like, if I'm doing something wrong, right. let me know right then and there so I can be able to fix it and be able to move forward, right. too. And we right. can grow right. from that. So it's more so, yeah, would I like to be in the household where somebody's like, oh, you don't have to work? Probably. Right. But I'm a type of person who like to go get man you, know? you got a fire job too don't leave out the blank <laughs> <laughs> you bet I um, but yeah it's it's all about and sometimes he comes with a lot of stuff that 
makes me take a step back like, damn, right. am I doing that? Right. Like, for real? Mm-hmm. Right. And so, again, you're very combative with things that you fear because it, it makes you grow. So makes it's sense. change. Right. So right. a lot of people don't like change. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Hold on. Bars. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... Did we get all, because we, hey, look, we had an hour and 40 minutes. This seemed like we're going to break this bad boy down. <laughs> we got to chop are you feel Are you feeling fulfilled? No, not in not in life. No, we're going from the, from the conversation. I'm my like, bad, going, my bad, my bad. Going, deep, okay. did, did, we, did, did we get, I guess, answer all the questions? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I got um, an understanding. Okay. Um, some things, of course, we walk away. We're gonna agree to disagree, yep. but I think more so. You know I'm, I'm right. Looking, no, yep. I'm <laughs> looking more so of <laughs> an understanding, like you said, like more of a guide, right? As a single woman, to right. how to navigate in this relationship that I'm in, right? To be able to step back and let a man be a man and let him lead in areas, because if I'm taking that away from him, right? Then is that me? contributed to the destruction of masculinity. Mm-hmm. He says, well, make sure you're showing signs of commitment, too. Who, me? What nah, is it? What is, oh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. That's all? Yes. Yeah. Signs of commitment. That's all we need. And discipline. My boy here is so disciplined. That's why I hang out with him. He's so In what way? Allegedly. He, um, nah, he's, he's, he's disciplined, like, in what ways? That's a deep question. You can keep asking these deep <laughs> questions. <laughs> you know how you know how you know how you know how they say you are who, who the people you hang around. Mm-hmm. I know that I needed discipline in my life, mm-hmm. so that's why I, I get mm-hmm. like I ask for his input. Right. Yeah. So you need a discipline in your life, like what? Discipline. Like um, like you need to get up every day. Nah. At a certain time. Nah. You need to make sure you go to work. Nah. You need to make sure you eat three meals. Like I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, <laughs> so I, so okay. The thing is, in entrepreneurship, you mm-hmm. do need certain disciplines, right? But it can get redundant. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I have to call him, like, bro. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so he holds you accountable. Yeah, and it, but he's in place for that. Mm-hmm. So it's that extra push. You know what I mean? Because he's so disciplined. And I think a lot of women need that. I think men share that a lot. Where we as women, we don't. Because we're constantly competing with each other. Look, mm-hmm. well, you're talking about within your own little circle. No, within I'm talking about women and without. Women, women just, and women. In general, women don't hold, we don't hold each other accountable. We don't be like, girl, you fumbled that bag. You fumbled that relationship. We'll be like, girl, you don't need him. Girl, look Yeah, him. why? So we don't hold each other accountable. Yeah, I noticed that. Because too. if one's single, she wants you to be single with her so y'all can go out and do Is that things. a real thing? Yes. You think that's a real thing? Yes. Oh, so she can go out. Oh, dang, I ain't thinking about that part. That's yeah. all I witnessed. Like, yeah, you're I, taking away. That took away I'm my like, time. I'm like, uh-huh. I, ain't never seen, I ain't never seen nobody like, yo. Nah. Dang, women are that selfish? Have you ever seen... I'm just asking, have you ever seen any woman hold another woman accountable for her actions and the I, part that she played I haven't, in it? I haven't. And why is that? I don't know. Because we're competing with each other, whether it's a job, a man, money, car, social life, whatever. It's We're not going to be like, girl, you you messed up. A lot of women are not like that. Yo, a lot of black women. You could have better. You could have. Yeah, especially in relationships. Mm-hmm. Like, and we're not going to hold each other accountable. Girl, uh, hold me accountable like, going to the gym. Mm-mm. Did right. you go? Okay, well, let's go get brunch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's real. so many times. That's real. Man. So, um, okay, we had an album 44 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and close this thing out. Okay. Are we, um, are you, <laughs> nah, I, yeah, I got to do it. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm the one in the editing seat. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Ladonna. Yes. Are you coming on soon? We want to talk about because what y'all don't know about Ladonna, she's into sports. She, she's into we we went into relationships. We, you know, we talked about leadership in the household. Mm-hmm. But she's really good with sports and all that too. Mm-hmm. Are you coming on soon to do some current events with us, man? Or I you are you just don't like it? Would be more to do more. I don't know. I can. I like this. This situation. You like it? You mm-hmm. sure? He was all right. <laughs> he was the one trying out, right? 
Oh, yeah. All right, he was trying to. First of all, I got his gel polish on my nails. Yeah, I was peeping it. I was like, dang, his. Like, it was over here, like, getting in my eye. I kept, like, doing this. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's blinking. So I, I accidentally did this. It's nice. Uh, it look good. Yeah. You yeah. Accidentally. Yeah, man, so. How do you accidentally get gel polish? Because normally men get butt. See, that's what, I, that's what I meant to tell her that I needed. But I was like, can you, I said polish it. Can you polish it? You got a manicure? Yeah, I got a manicure. Oh, as he should. Yeah, I got a manicure. Dang. And uh, uh -huh. I was like, "Can hey, you polish uh -huh. it?" And she was like, "Yeah, yeah." I so she put you. the, mm -hmm. so she, and, I, and I, you know, I, I don't really know what's really going on because I ain't did it enough times to really know what's going when on. You said when you said accident, I'm just thinking like you just accidentally just yeah, and I just fell in some polish and it and was I, and neatly <laughs> and neatly placed. I don't know. Part part of me saw it like, but it was kind of like too late, and I didn't want to tell her like. She you already saw her started with the thing, and doing yeah, like this, and then did your nail like this, yeah, and then like let her do that <laughs> ten times. No, I, if I saw like, after like the first one, I kind of read the bottle and I saw like GL. I was like, oh, should she put in like, you know what? We here now, and that's expensive. That's not regular polish. Wow, man. so you paid for it. Mm. That's what's up, you but it looks good. Hey man, come with the French tips next time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dudes getting their nails painted. These days, you see, uh, no allows. He had his nails painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they yeah, no allows, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. <laughs> can, can we talk about some sports stuff and leadership in sports next time? We can. All right, man. So, so you saying you coming back? Um, yeah. Are you asking me to come back? <laughs> you okay? She'll have okay. me back. <laughs> cool, man. Y'all write, y'all write down in the comments below if y'all want Ladonna back. They gonna be uh, like, no. Cool. Nah, nah. LaDonna cool, man. Everybody, she got her own fan base. LaDonna got her own fan base, man. So, but we appreciate you for coming. Thank Bless you for Nas. having me after all these months. Yeah. I feel rusty. Yeah, nah, that's cool. <laughs> so, and you start your pie soon, right? We, we. I'm trying. I want to. Yeah, yeah. So, she. So we, if anybody want to be a co host? So, we're looking for. Uh, I have you on. <laughs> <laughs> These two, yeah, these two are problems. Yeah, these two are problems. I can tell. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I love it. I appreciate the conversation, you. your perspective. Um, any last words, bro? Good. Oh, you got any last words? You usually do a last word. On, I didn't on have my... it this time because I didn't know that's mm, what y'all do. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I'm prepared. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> I am very prepared. Amateur hour. It's okay no, it's though. Not. It's okay. <laughs> Not okay, <laughs> my last my last word for everybody is what I said during our conversation. Okay, if you do not take care of your childhood traumas now, your relationships will. Oh, That's a bar though. Bars. Did you make that up? Bars. Oh, you can claim it though. I thought was job to claim it. <laughs> bars. Love it, man. Y'all be sure to um. We said a lot of information here today. Yeah. Y'all got to write it down now. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all get that. Call me four zero four nine three three. <laughs> I thought you better go like, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for more uh, relationships. <laughs> for more relationships. But y'all need to write it down for real. Make sure y'all get that. What am I doing right? Journal. It's right here in the link below. Get that on Amazon. What am I doing right? W R I T E. And mine is, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> 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 you want to make that list <laughs> <laughs> uh, she definitely need a journal we got to get her a journal man um, y'all like subscribe man hit the bell hit the bell <laughs> I love it hit the bell man I think we out we out y'all we out stick and move we can get it done call it unity it ain't no way around it cultivating we can motivation from the big guy we don't play about it going hard for the game show